First of all, they need to be uh, vehicle manufacturers. Uh, we, we like to talk to the OEMs themselves. Um, very often, they then recommend uh, s tier one suppliers that they would like us to talk to because ultimately that's where they want to buy the full electric drive solution. Um, but the point is, and especially now in, in 2020, um, we have actually started production. Um, it's, uh, the motors are still being made by, by hand, but uh, the, the base model that we now have in production is the AFT140. It's around 11 to 15 kilowatts. Uh, the applications are very versatile. So status where we are um, is that the technology is proven. Um, we have been testing rigorously and uh, collected hundreds of thousands of miles of uh, testing hours uh, and the motor didn't miss a beat. Production has started uh, and we're creating healthy revenues. So my vision for this company is essentially three solid revenue streams um, and, and, and that will support the expansion plans that we, uh, that we have. The first revenue stream, what we've learned over the years is that uh, vehicle manufacturers, they need support. They don't necessarily know how to electrify their vehicles. They already know how to make millions of motorcycles but they don't really know what battery to select or what power to select or how the regulations are changing in the coming years. So that's what we call electric drive solutions. That's our engineering uh, services division. And from that division, we can support clients with uh, vehicle simulation, prototyping, tailoring, so we can, we can tailor the design of the motor to fit in their application uh, and, and work with their suspension, work with their battery. Um, we can even prototype it, we can, we can uh, even put it into a vehicle and create a demo vehicle for like a board meeting. Um, that's what we call electric drive solutions and that work has already started and that's where we already create healthy revenues. The other part of the vision for SAYATA is to, of course, create production uh, capability. Uh, a lot of our clients, they, they need motors and they need them tomorrow. We can rapid prototype motors, but we've also learned that a lot of these uh, vehicle manufacturers, they just want a reliable uh, supplier for pretty much their electric drive solution. We are creating that production capacity here in the UK to the level of 100,000 units per, uh, per year. Um, here from the UK, we will make motors. Uh, that essentially, it will be client motors, um, but it's also a process definition plant. So because our topology supports fully automated assembly, we will be investing heavily into uh, robots and uh, proving that your motor variant can be made on that specific assembly line with those specific robots. Um, we can even support on the certification side to basically make sure that by the time you receive your first 10 or 20,000 motors for your application, you almost can pick up the factory in a factory and move it to any factory around the world. And that we believe, I mean, our ambition level is not 100,000 motors per year. Our ambition level is millions of motors per year. So the second revenue stream that we are focusing on with the entire team is uh, how once the engineering services is completed, you've had your prototype vehicle, it of course is very important to create manufacturing uh, capacity uh, within the Sayata group. Um, we are aiming initially for 100,000 units uh, per year. We're already working on it uh, to basically not only define how to make the motor, um, but also to uh, prove the process uh, in, in, uh, with high automation. Um, we're on track to, to deliver that volume. So the third revenue stream, which, which we originally didn't plan, but what we, we learned while talking to our clients is that uh, everybody is desperate to get their product into the market as quickly as possible. Um, that requires, of course, effective engineering, huh, which we do with EDS. You, of course, have to make the motors to then build your uh, vehicles and, and sell your vehicles. 
Um, but the other thing that a lot of people forget is the amount of testing that is required to then prove that the product is robust. Uh, for that, we are within the Sayeta Group creating uh, a durability test center. Uh, we're already talking to potential partners about that. Uh, and what we've learned is that uh, for uh, various reasons over the last five years, all of the test centers around the world are fully booked. Uh, you can't get in. And a lot of these test centers have no experience with testing electric motors. So what we see is that the electric motor manufacturers tend to create the test capability themselves. Um, if you look at the revenues that you can create with it, it's, it's, it's very high margin business. Um, so we've, we've decided uh, as a board to adopt that within the group.